All right, guys, what are we talking about today? It's going to be a two-for-one, so to speak. How easy is Spy 27 to sharpen? And how well do the Veneve... Resin bonded stones. These happen to be the 25%. I picked these up first to see how they worked to see if I wanted the 25% or the 100%. This is the 100 and 240. And the 400, 800. These are the greater dog stones. These are currently not available on Gridomatic. However, if you put your email in, to be notified, stuff comes back in stock pretty regularly. When I purchase the 100%, I believe the... I don't remember if I got the Phoenix or the Dragon Stones. I put an email in, and I believe it was three or four days they were back in stock. So I also have the full-size bench stones in 100, 240, 400, and 800. I really like these. They're small. They travel with me. I do probably 90% in hand sharpening. Even with the larger stones, I just prefer it. Works a lot better for me with my arthritis and my other medical stuff. I find it to be super easy. I do still sharpen on a stone holder with bench stones. That's mainly kitchen knives and things like that. I can't remember if I have done a video about these particular stones yet or not. So, since I do need to clean a couple sides, as you can see, I have a little bit of a little bit of metal shavings in there. This is a piece of a 3M pad. It is made for refinishing wood floors. Works awesome. Also, because these stones were so cheap, I believe the two stones together cost me, at the time I bought them, $23 or so. When last time they were in stock at Gridomatic, they each stone was under $10. As far as flattening them goes, I've used these a ton, and I haven't had to flatten them yet. If I put a straight edge across here, the tiny amount of light that I can see is so minor. I haven't found it to affect anything that I'm doing or any edges that I get off of these stones. So to clean them up, Put a little bit of water on them. Not using much of any pressure at all. And it's that easy. This is exactly how I do my 100% stones. The only difference being, because they're quite a bit bigger, I don't have to do this nearly as often. Now these particular stones and as you guys notice, I'm also turning the pad as I do this. When I'm done, I will go inside, wash these all off, let them dry. I will also completely wash this pad out and let it dry so that when I do use it again, I'm not contaminating one grit with another.
So that is all it takes to clean them up. So now the part you guys want to see, the sharpening. I did loan this knife out for a few months, and my buddy Josh used it. I did try to strop it back. I figure how often you get the opportunity to try and strop back something that's really dull. I tried to strop it back. Portions of it will kind of cut a piece of paper. It definitely needs to be sharpened. So I figured this would be a good time to show how easy Spy 27 sharpens. As you guys see, we're not doing anything there. So I will go ahead and start on the 100 grit side. Try to get that in a way you guys can actually, there you go. The 100 grit side here. These, like I said, are the 25% concentration. The 100 grit and the 240 are not nearly as aggressive as what it sounds like. I would say this is closer to maybe a 300 grit diamond plate, maybe even a little higher. And the 240 here at 25% is much closer to a 6 to 800 grit diamond plate. A lot of times I will just use the 100 and the 240. Like I said, these are my travel stones. I use them quite a bit. We'll just go ahead and get a little bit of water on here. And I'm trying to do this around the camera. I'll try to keep it in frame as best I can. See how long it takes from what it is to get a burr on each side and move on. Oh, sorry guys, I already saw I'm going out of frame there. So I already have a small burr. Need a little bit more back here and a little bit more up here. So even being 25%, that's how well this particular one cuts. I already have a burr along that entire side.
and I do see a little bit of a chip right there by the crease in my finger that I'm gonna have to go ahead and get out real quick but that's how quick it is to get a burr on each side It's looking a lot better already and I didn't even know that that spot was there but that just helps show how quick these stones actually cut So that's what the secondary looks like off of the 100 grit, 25% concentration. And that's something else I should mention. The feedback on these is quite a bit different. Even between the 100% and the 25%, the feedback is different enough that I don't really go by sound. I go by feel. What does it actually feel like to tell whether or not I'm actually riding on my secondary bevel or is my angle off enough and I'm not doing what I want to be doing. See, you don't want to do that. That's one thing about in-hand sharpening. You can't get your tip too far over onto the stone like that. Yeah, I will definitely have to fix that up a little bit.
So now I'm going to go ahead. And what I've found is really good about these 25% stones is as I use them on the 100 grit, I don't do too many burr reducing strokes at all. But when I get to the 240, what you're about to see now, I'm going to do some burr reducing strokes. The 240 at 25% does not create a big burr. So you guys that aren't quite sure what a burr is, I'm hoping if you're freehand sharpening, you know what a burr feels like. Once you move on to the 400 and 800, they get very small. There we go, that looks a lot better now. All right, now I'm gonna move on to the 400-800. This one I don't use quite as much, like I said, and I don't spend as much time on it. I don't wanna to take too much of the edge aggression out because these 25% stones will not leave as aggressive and an edge as the 100 grit stone, 100% uh, concentration stones will.
All right, so right now off the 400 grit stone, no strop, there is super tiny burr on here. Now I'm gonna spend even less time here on the 800 side just to clean it up a little bit. I don't remember the rough translations, but I believe this 8,000 grit 25% is converts to something like 3,000 grit or two, I, I, I don't honestly remember. If you go to the Gridomatic website, they have a conversion chart of all the different stones to what the different grits compared to other stones. I just know I'm not big on the finish that the 800 here leaves. And if you guys can hear that, it is not very abrasive. As you can tell by the little bit of sound that it's making. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you guys. It's daytime. I don't even think it'll show up with a flashlight. The burr is super tiny from the 800 grit. This is the difference in the 25% 800 grit versus the 400 grit on the 25%. So off the 800 grit, no strop yet. There isn't much of any burr left on here, which is what I really like about these, the 25% stones. And I have experimented with these stones with Roman stuff, Alex's, John from BGM Knives. I haven't done my Stonehawker crew wear on these yet. What I can say about those, most of the test stuff Roman sent me, the Vancron and the Nitrobe 77, both of those, I can completely debar on these stones. 
I don't feel a difference between off the stones and stropped. Straight off the stones, I can whittle hair with them, cut through free hanging hair. Alex's stuff, a couple of those I can get off these that I can't see a burr with a flashlight now. Does that mean that maybe there isn't a micro burr left? I don't know. However, I can't tell a difference in the level of sharpness without a strop straight off the stones and with a strop. Now, maybe eventually I'll pick up a best tester and see what the difference is. John from BGM Z-Wear comes awesome off of these stones. But nothing but a positive experience. If you guys are looking for a small or a pair of small travel stones, even one in the 100% concentration, like a 240-400 or a 240-800, would be coarse enough to let you reprofile or take some chips out if you needed to, and yet have a fine enough side that you'll be able to put a nice finish on it and greatly reduce that burr my biggest takeaway of these is even the things you cannot deburr completely on these which keep in mind it's not a ton of things however these stones greatly reduce the amount of burr that is left on the knife when i go to a strop so much so that the burr will be gone much faster when I use these versus diamond plates, no matter how careful I am with the diamond plates. And to give you guys, now keep in mind I've been using this and it is a little dirty. This is a convex off of the 800 grit that I put on this S90V and I've been using it for a lot of cardboard. I even took it to some wood and it is strapped back. It's held up and strapped back amazing after the amount of time I've been using this. You have any questions, comments, or otherwise, put them down below. Or my email will be in the description. That's all I have for this one. As always, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.